Hey everybody. Sorry for the, uh, couldn't have started late. I had technical difficulties uh, connecting all our devices here to the internet. But it's all fixed. Uh, my name is Ben Rawl and I am the owner and guide uh, of Highway 3 Angler in the Alaska Sisseton Valley. And welcome to Fly Tying After Dark, where we tie simple flies for Alaska's trout and salmon. Uh, tonight, we're going to be tying the uh, coho kryptonite and a flash fly. Um, let's see, before we get started, if you could let me know if there's any issues with the lighting or the sound um, in the Facebook comments, I'd appreciate that. Um, if you're tuning into this video late or want to watch it another time, it will be archived on the Highway Three Angler Facebook page and on our YouTube page or YouTube channel. Um, as I tie the flies tonight, if you have any questions about the flies or anything else, just let me know in the comments. And I'm posting a question of the night over in the comments. And that question is, what is your favorite fly fishing book besides A River Runs Through It? <laughs> so let me know in the comments. That would be great. All right. So the first fly that we're tying tonight is the coho kryptonite. Looks like this. Um, you can also, you can, this is tied in purple. You can tie it in pink. You can tie it in chartreuse. You can tie it in any color that you'd like. Uh, the tools that you need to tie this fly are a vise. scissors, whip finish tool or half hitch tool, or you can use your fingers to finish the fly off. Uh, that's about it. This is a pretty simple one. Uh, so I'm starting off with a size two Gamagatsu, TH, or excuse me, T10-6H. Uh, and I'm going to use black uh, Vivas thread in uh, ADOT. So this is a, a weightless fly. Uh, no lead wraps, no cones, no eyes. And um, when you fish this fly, if you were to just fish it on a floating line with a leader, it's either going to float on top of the water or maybe sink uh, just under the surface. So I would recommend fishing this fly uh, with a sink tip or tying it with some lead wraps if you, if you know you, you're going to want to fish this deep. Uh, you, you're not interested in fishing it near the, the surface. So uh, tonight I'm not going to tie it with weight, even though I do have that on the, uh, over on the recipe for this fly. So it's up to you. I'm just going to start the thread at the uh, eye of the hook and bring it back to just just past the point, about halfway between the point and the barb. For the tail of this fly, I'm going to use Pearl Crystal Flash. Uh, you can also use 
um, a combination of flash that you may have. Um, you can use any you can use any color uh, you choose, but for this one, we're going to use pearl crystal flash, and um, that'll be it. So the tail should be two times the length of the um, shank of the hook here. So I'm going to tie that in right about there. Keep in control of this flash is, is a challenge. I'm going to bring my thread forward. Okay, bring, bring it back towards the middle a little bit here. I'm going to fold this flash forward and then tie, just do a wrap here in the, in the middle with the thread. down and then I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the uh, flash forward wrapping um, away from me just to kind of build a little bit of a taper um, to this fly otherwise it would just be the same size all the way around So if you didn't see that, um, I'm going to touch one. See over in the comments, the question of the night is, uh, what is your favorite fly fishing book other than uh, The River Runs Through It? Let me know in the comments. So the next material that we're going to tie in is this cactus chenille in large uh, color purple, you can do it in pink, uh, chartreuse, whatever color you'd like. And we're actually going to tie this in at the front of the hook. So I'm just taking off a little bit of the fibers to get down to this uh, core string, and that's where I'm going to tie it in. So I'm going to wrap this back, uh, try not to catch the fibers uh, with the string. I'm going to build up some bulk here when we come forward. So this is about a 12 inch piece. Um, I, I cut it a little long uh, so I didn't run out when I was doing this demo. <laughs> uh, but you could probably get away with a 10 inch piece. So I brought it back to where we first tied in the tail. And now I'm gonna bring it forward again, this time uh, pushing the fibers back. some of these. So 
So I'm going to do three wraps with the whip finish tool. I'll do it twice. And there you have it. That's a pretty simple fly to coho uh, kryptonite. Like I said, it's a weightless fly. You can tie it with lead wraps if you want, if you know you're going to sink this uh, a little bit deeper. Um, otherwise, you can fish it with sink tips. Uh, you can tie it in different colors. This one is in purple. Um, you can tie it in pink, chartreuse, uh, fuchsia, whatever colors you'd like. Okay, let's see if we have any, uh, anyone tell us what their favorite book is here. Let's see. Dark, Mike Way says, Dark Waters uh, by Russell Chatham. I have not heard of that one, but I'll check that out. Uh, Richard Johnson. Hi, Richard Johnson. Thanks for watching. We got Jolyn. Hi, Jolyn. What's your favorite book? Favorite fly fishing book? Oh, the Habit of Rivers by Ted Leeson. I'll have to check that out. Bulk Like the Hulk. I'm guessing you were talking about the wraps of chenille on this uh, coho kryptonite fly mic weight. <laughs> yep, got to make it bulky. Okay, this, this next fly we're going to tie here is the uh, flash fly. And the flash fly, it's been around for a while. Can't say exactly when it was first developed, but it's in, it's in a lot of the old uh, books that I have about uh, with fly recipes for Alaska. Um, Show it to you. There's a, little, a few more materials for this fly than we've had on uh, the other flies we tied during fly tying after dark. Uh, but it's still, it's, it's still pretty simple to tie. And we're going to go with the same style hook, the Gamagatsu um, T10-6H, but this time in a size 4. Francis says it's a cute fly. <laughs> Thanks, Francis. So the tools you need for uh, the flash fly are the same as earlier. Just need a pair of scissors, whip finish tool, and a bobbin with thread. We're going to use uh, Danville uh, 210 denier in pink. All right, for the tail of this fly, we're going to use uh, this pink flashaboo. Let me get this started. Nope. Actually, and we're also going to put quite a bit of weight on this. This is a 0 0.025 lead wire. And 
start the thread here, just behind the eye. I stopped it just be just in front of the uh, bar. So again, for the tail, this pink flash to boot, probably have about 30 strands that I'm gonna cut off. And the tail's just gonna be one hook shanks length here. Working with these whole strands of flashaboo is probably the most challenging part of this fly. <laughs> I'm gonna just get, let my fingers a good control of this and I'm gonna bring my thread forward and wrap this uh, thread right up the shank securing all of this uh, flashaboo to the top of the hook. There we go now. Now I can do some better wraps here. Okay, next we have um, this pink diamond braid, be a, the body of this fly. That's right, Rich says this was originally called the Carlock Flash Fly. I read that in uh, the Fly Fisher's book. in. I have a long piece just because I don't want to come up short uh, during this demo. About um, an eight, eight inch piece here. If you're wondering why I'm wrapping like this is because I got about eight inches of flash sticking out the other end. I'm trying to avoid I'm just gonna wrap this forward. Yep, Rich says his, the first color combo was silver with a uh, red underwing. That's right. Speaking of underwings, we're not going to do red tonight. We're going to do a purple calf's tail. I'm just going to take a small, small chunk of this. So 
you can see a, just a small piece. I'm going to tie it in so the tips are just uh, long enough to reach the bend in the hook. some of those fibers. I'm gonna, I got this extra flash and I'm going to fold back over this purple calf's tail. And do some wraps to secure that um, so it's, it's flowing backwards or towards the back. trim it the same length as the tail. Oh, my Aunt Janet is on. Hi, Aunt Janet. <laughs> Great camera work. Wow. It's my third episode. I'm a professional. <laughs> Until I'm not. Until the camera as a malfunction of some sort. Okay, so the uh, last material we're gonna use to finish this fly up is just some pink uh, saddle hackle. I'm gonna trim the uh, tips off here and uh, or just the tip because I want the long fibers towards the bottom of the feather. So I'm tie this in. Right on top of the uh, flash boo. Just do a few a few turns, folding the fibers back. We are going to use the thread to uh, when we're done here. When we tie this off, we're going to use the thread to kind of push these fibers back. Just did two and a half turns there. Now I'm going to stroke these fibers back and start building up a head. These thread wraps are a little keep these fibers flowing back. I'm going to finish this off with three, three wrap whip finish. You can place each turn uh, strategically to build up that head. And there you have it, the flash fly. You can tie it in a lot of different colors. Um, you can tie it, um, you can upsize it to be a king fly. This is one that I tied earlier um, with this green flash taboo with the white underwing and silver body. Um, there we go. But I didn't use a collar because I didn't have a, I didn't have a feather that I liked for a collar on this one, so. Back. Yeah. Flash fly. 
going to use this for uh, silvers, chums, pinks. Like I said, just tie down a bigger hook, hook maybe a one out for king for kings. All right, any more uh, answers to our questions of the night? Favorite fly fishing book? that right now okay so thanks for joining me tonight again we we tied the uh, coho kryptonite and a flash fly uh, both good flies for silver salmon uh, chums pinks uh, you can find the recipes over on the highway3angler.com uh, website there and just click on fly tying after dark and the recipes will, will, will come up. Um, you can watch this video again on the Facebook page and on the Highway 3 Angler uh, YouTube page. Oh, we got a couple questions here. Francis says, how many of these do you bring with you when you go out fishing? Oh my gosh, Francis, I bring so many flies. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but if I was just gonna, gonna take a handful, I'd maybe I'd bring like, um, if I was just gonna go out to one spot and fish for silvers, maybe I'd bring like three of these um, in pink and three in purple. And then maybe I'd bring three of the uh, flash flies tied in with this pink uh, flashaboo and purple underwing. And then maybe I'd switch it up um, and tie one with more purple. So remember this fly was, this one's unweighted. Um, the coho kryptonite is, is unweighted. So they're gonna fish diff quite a bit differently. This one's gonna stay right near the surface of the water. And um, this one, which has the lead wraps, Flash fly is gonna sink. So, so twelve. I probably bring three, three, six, nine, twelve flies. Um, but realistically, I probably have like a hundred flies. <laughs> oh, and Richard likes the caddis fly by Gary uh, Lafontaine. Thanks for sharing, Richard, and for the the history of the fly tonight. Okay, so the next uh, fly tying after dark will be um, toward the end of this coming week. Um, if you like and follow the Highway Three Angler Facebook page, you'll get a notification of um, when the next one is scheduled. And again, thanks for uh, joining me tonight.